All right, so in this problem, we want to evaluate the value of our unknown variable a. Now we're given the formula right here, so let's plug in all the values that we are given and solve for a. So a equals r, which is 6, minus p, which is 60, and all this is divided by t, which is 8. All right, so let's simplify what we have inside our parentheses. We have 6 minus 60, which gives us a negative 54, divided by 8. Now we have to take this improper fraction and turn it into a decimal. So let's ask ourselves, how many times does 8 go into 54? And that is going to be 6 times. So our whole number is going to be negative 6. Remember, because a negative divided by a positive gives us a negative. So 6 times 8 gives us 48. So in order to find our remainder, we, we do 54 minus 48, and that will give us 6 left over. So we have 6 left over out of our denominator 8. And now we just have to simplify our remainder, which is 6 over 8. We can divide both by 2, and we have negative 6. We have negative 6 as our whole number, and our remainder will be 3 divided by 4. All right, so now in order to turn this into a decimal, we have negative 6 as our whole number, and 3 fourths is our decimal, which can be written as 75. All right, so negative 6.75 will be our final answer, and that corresponds with answer C.